So together we have to continuously engage and help our people to understand the need to protect our own environment. COVID-19 tested the world to the limits. And how I pray that our people should learn moving forward. Why we are called civil society. Why we are called NGOs. Why we are called CBOs. Is because our strength should lie in the population. It is about time that we should, we should start thinking of local donors. How do we work together and encourage our people to understand that collectively we can contribute little by little and make sure that we support intervention outside the government bureaucratic structure. I was in a country that I saw the other day that every citizen in that country goes to work for free. Everyone has to work on that day for free. You don't work for pay. What you are supposed to be paid on that day is given to civil society organizations. So, as civil society actors, we need to speak together with our local government and see how we can start developing local donors so that we don't only rely on donors who are coming from elsewhere. COVID has shown us that we need to have homegrown sources of income. Now that is where I urge you that we should come together and we work to make sure that we support our own initiative. Allow me to switch to level now. I've said